Welcome back, Sam the Electrician, talking about Alberta separation, Western independence. Today I'm going to talk about the constitutionality of the process and the framework that's been already set up from previous referendums uh, of separation from our friends and allies in Quebec. So after the last referendum, there were complaints on both sides in Quebec and outside of Quebec that the question posed to the people of Quebec was not clear. Uh, it was a very close vote, if you remember, if you're old enough to remember, and people were upset uh, that the question was not clear. So the federal government passed an act on June 29th, 2000, called the Clarity Act, uh, Bill C-20, I believe it was, uh, which governs the process of having a referendum to leave Confederation. Uh, some of the key points in the bill are that uh, all provinces and First Nations are to be a part of negotiations, which I don't really understand what that means. If a province has decided to leave it's the will of the people in the province. Uh, I, I believe it may refer to negotiations after the fact or about how the alliance is going to work between the new nation and the old nation and the old provinces. Um, uh, of course, it's sort of, that goes without saying, there's going to have to be a lot of negotiations as to what it's going to look like and how it's actually going to work. Um, it also requires an amendment to the Constitution, uh, which is, you know, par for the course, parliamentary democracy. Uh, the lower house decides if the question written is clear or not. So Ottawa retained some power there um, over the process, and they want to be able to dictate or determine whether the question is clear enough for the population of the province to understand and answer in the referendum. The lower house also have to decide whether a clear majority says yes to the question. Now this is a very ambiguous, open-ended point in the act. A clear majority is 51% a clear majority, is 66%, 60, what is a clear majority? So I believe, as Albertans, we would need to set a framework up for ourselves and determine what the threshold would be uh, as to a clear majority. Because it's our province and it's our new nation. It's not Ottawa's decision to dictate what a clear majority is. If we all agree and have this referendum, then those are the rules. Um, the Act also allows the House of Commons to override the results of the referendum if the Clarity Act is violated. So really, Ottawa wrote a whole slew of open-ended um, points in the Act that allow them basically to try to kibosh any attempt to leave. However, there is a framework, a loose framework, that can be worked with and worked around. And again, this is where our friends and allies in Quebec uh, will be a large, large asset and help uh, both places, Alberta and Quebec. I can't speak for Saskatchewan, I don't live there. Uh, if they wanna come out, that's they'd have to go through the same framework and process in their province. We'd love to have you, Saskatchewan, by the way, uh, Manitoba. BC, though we all know the likelihood of that happening is very, very low. However, our friends and allies in Quebec uh, can help us and we can help them. We both want to leave. We'll hold the door open for you and you just hold it open after, you're, after you and we'll come out with you. It'll be great. Uh, everyone wins this way. No more Ottawa dictating how provinces should or will live and develop. Uh, the cultures are too different. I know I say this almost every video, but we out here are extremely different than the people in Ontario 
and Quebec and the East. And we value individuality and freedom over collectivism and big government. It's just, that's it. It's, that is the baseline difference between us and the, and the Eastern provinces. Uh, but that's a topic for another video. I will go into collectivism versus individual individualism in a, another video. And uh, I look forward to seeing you then. Take it easy.